How to prepare peanut butter soup? These are the ingredients for preparing peanut butter soup. You get your smooth peanut butter from any African or Asian shop, the one without sugar, smooth one. Check to see if it's without sugar. You need your salt, tomato plum, all purpose seasoning, your meat, dry fish. You can also use fresh fish, it depends on your choice. I'm using fresh goat meat mixed with dry fish. And I've also got goat stripe here. I've cleaned it, I've cleaned all, clean it nicely and cut it up. I've got my big onion. I'm going to use two big onions, but I've chopped one with some garlic to do the seasoning. I've got my onion, tomato puree, two bay leaves, Ga um, ginger, garlic, chili pepper, and your maggi salt, maggi sauce for seasoning. What you do is you chop up. I chop up some. I chop up one of the big onion, some ginger and garlic. And I'm going to blend this in a blender to season up my goat meat. These are the chopped garlic and onion. Garlic, onion, and ginger. You add a small water. Add enough water to blend. This is my goat's meat and my goat stripe. Because it's fresh, I'm going to steam this with my blend garlic ginger and onion and I'll season it with my Maggi tablet. You can use any Maggi, Maggi tablet of your choice. They have shrimps, chicken, whichever flavor you want. I'm using two Maggi cubes. You can use one, you can use three. It's up to you. Then my own gas seasoning. All these seasonings contain salt, so you should be careful when you are using them. So that you don't and then a pinch of salt to steam. You stir it. Then you leave it on to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. That's steaming of the fresh meat. After adding the blend uh, spices, you can add a, just a, a bit of water to steam it up. Okay, during my steaming time, I'm going to add my onion. So I'm going to add my onion, my chili pepper, bay leaf, and some roughly cut ginger. And then I cover it to steam. Whilst my meat is steaming, I'm going to mix my peanut butter with some, with some of the tomato puree. Some people add the peanut butter straight away from the bottle to their soup. But if you do that, you're going to smell the peanut butter straight away from the soup. So what I do is I steam it, I cook it separately. So I'm going to add my tomato puree to the peanut butter in my cooking pot. Then I use my wooden spoon to stir it up. That's the peanut butter. You 
you can add some onion at this stage just roughly just roughly chop up some onion into the peanut butter and then you add your water then you keep on stirring if you keep on stirring this for about 10 to 15 minutes you see it thickening up and the oil starts popping up that means the peanut butter is cooked through and then you strain it onto your steamed meat so I'm going to keep on stirring don't leave it on you have to keep on stirring it some people add it straight onto the steamed meat but I don't do that you cook it through in a separate saucepan and then you use your strainer to strain it onto your steamed beef or fish Now my, my beef, my goat meat and the stripe is steamed. So I'm going to take out the onion I drop in and my chili pepper. I'm going to take it out and, and I'll blend it. My chili pepper. Okay, I'm going to take this out and I'll blend it. I'm going to blend it with the tomato plum. onion you know when you are making peanut butter soup a lot of onion make it tasty I'm going to add some more onion and chopped ginger and then I'll strain it onto my steamed meat some people add it straight away but i don't like i don't want to see the bits of my vegetables the seed of the pepper and the tomato in my soup so what i do is me i strain it you strain it with your strainer I blend spice, the plum tomato, the onion, and the pepper. You can still add water and then you use, if it's not coming out, you use your ladle to press it through the strainer. You see, this is the chaff you get. If you don't strain it, you're going to get all this lot in your soup. I don't want to see that in my soup. So, I'm going to throw this in a bin. And then I'll strain my peanut butter soup the soup base i'm going to strain the soup base as well onto my soup onto my steamed beef see you pass it through the strainer you use your ladder to press it through the strainer even though the peanut butter is it says it's smooth. Sometimes you can still see bits and pieces of the peanut in the butter. So it's always good to pass it through a strainer like this. Even if you don't want to cook the peanut butter through, you can just mix it up with your right hand in a bowl with a warm water. So you get this thickness and then you pass it through your strainer onto your steamed beef. If, you, if it's too thick, you can fill it with your ladle. You know, peanut butter soup get thickens up whilst it's cooking. So if, if you feel it's a bit too thick for you and you want it lighter, you just add more water to this base then in the strainer. And then you cook this soup through for about 5 to 10 minutes before you add your dry fish or your fresh fish. You leave it to cook now on a gentle heat for about 10 to 15 minutes then you add your dry or fresh fish. At this stage, my soup is almost cooked. 
So I'm just going to break my smoked fish and then drop it in because the fish is already cooked. So I'll just break it up and drop it in. If you have fresh garden egg, you can also cut up some and drop it in your peanut butter soup. Garden egg and some okra because you know peanut butter soup can be eaten with banku, with fufu and even with your boiled rice. I'm just going to drop some okra in and of course I'll drop a few chili pepper in. Some people like it very spicy. But I don't want to make it spicy from the start, so I'm just going to leave a whole chili pepper in. So if someone wants extra chili, they just mash it in their bowl. Here we are. Our peanut butter soup is ready. You can have it with your amotuo, fufu, or banku. Or you can also have it with your plain boiled rice.